Well, we um, made an oath to protect the freedom of our people, and we're here to reiterate that oath. We will not give up, we will fight for the freedom of our people till our dying day. The TGA approved that with one study of a thousand people that shows it hardly works anyway. And uh, are you going to be voting for Rosie Cossack? Sure, of course. Excellent. Good He's news. the only one around here that's fighting for our rights. Absolutely. You locked us up in our homes, you took away our jobs, you tried to put needles in our arms. But the Australian people, they've risen from the ashes and they've said no more because we are un unbreakable. Our spirit is unbreakable and you can see it here today. Australians all around He's an eight-year-old had a heart attack. Shove your vaccine mandates up your ass. You can shove your vaccine mandates up your ass. You can shove your vaccine mandates. Shove your vaccine mandates. Shove your vaccine mandates up your ass. Oh, I'd rather be a human than a slave. That pharmaceutical companies have as their primary objective profit. It's profit. They are masquerading as a well-being industry. They have no liability since 1986. My name is Andy Glenda. What do I know? What's my name again? Andy Glenda. We're all family here. Yeah. I am here to push your voice out. So I want you kids to stand up and cheer right now. Are you going to take that vaccine? No. Come on, kids. I can't hear you. You need to remember that you are trained in tactical disengagement, which means you have a model that you know you are trained in. Sometimes your mere presence is enough. Sometimes verbal commands are enough. But if you're going to put your fellow community members on the ground over a mask, then I think you've lost your way. I love you. I love you so much. I put myself on the line to be open to criticisms and judgments. I don't care. All I'm interested in is ensuring that you have your freedoms, 
and ensuring that your rights are maintained. All right, have a good look around, turn around, have a look. Have a look around, guys. Okay, so this is who has voted Liberal or Labor at one stage in their lives, right? Get this on camera, get your phones out. This is what the media will never show you. Now put your hands down. Now put your hands up, guys. If you are planning to vote Liberal or Labor at the next election. Have a look around. I think that's, I think that's a big fat zero. The freedom to say no to a medical intervention is a basic, fundamental human right. And yet the Labor and Liberal parties of this nation have violated that basic principle. The real fight back starts in three weeks with the Strathfield violation. We've got the Aussie Cossack standing as an independent. So what I'm calling for is all my good friends in all the other parties, whether they be Liberal Democrats, IMOP, Australia One, One Nation, Great Australia Party. Let's all get together. Let's all join together and support the Aussie Cossack who stuck with But what happens is every year since time began, a virus has swept over the world. Most years it's fairly mild, some years it's a little bit worse. I would say, two years into this thing, I would say on average, COVID's probably two or three times worse than the average annual flu. So that it's got nothing. But people, people have now tried to, they're trying to tell us that they're 20 times worse. Now here's what we need to avoid. We need to avoid becoming cynical. We cannot afford to become cynical because cynical people do not make history. Naive people don't make history either. And mark my words, this is a spiritual war we are fighting. This is not a war of flesh. God is in charge of this. God is in control. If you don't believe me, I mean, this is not a spiritual war. I don't know what's going on. There is so much evil in our government. And it needs to be talked about. It needs to be highlighted. There is a new world coming, but not the one they ordered. They have lost control, they are losing, and we are winning.